for October. Speaking of October, John Graham is live in Casterbury getting ready for Oktoberfest. Yeah, they're getting ready out here at the German American Society. How am I? Inga's keeping an eye on me. I'm helping peel potatoes. How am I doing? Oh, you're doing pretty good, but just cut all the crap off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are we still on the air? You're on TV now. Watch your language, young lady. How many pounds of potatoes are you having to cut, cut up for tomorrow? About a... Uh, at Two, least a ton, right? 500, 600 pounds. Oh, that's all? That's, that's all. That's Only five or 600 pounds, so I better get back to work. We're out here because tomorrow the German American Society in Castleberry is having their big Oktoberfest. You know, there's a little, let's see, Tanzen und Trinken. How do I do? Tanzen und, und Trinken. Und Essen. Und Essen, sehr good. Uh, dancing, sehr drinking, good. and eating. So we'll tell you more about that. Stay tuned. Right around the corner, coming up next, is Fox 35 News at 7 can swim with the sharks. We'll have that story in just a minute. But first, John Graham is swimming with uh, the schnitzel. He's live in Castleberry. <laughs> I'm up to my elbows in potatoes today. We're helping him get ready uh, here in Castleberry. The German American Society is having their big Oktoberfest tomorrow. We had to get Gene asked to go, so I wanted to get him and his later hosen on TV. Gene, tell people why you're dressed like that. Uh, because I was told to. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's not even German, but his wife is, and she said, guess what you're wearing today, hon? So stay tuned. We're going to be telling you more about this event coming up tomorrow. You're watching Fox 35 News at 7. Yes, they do. It's called the Sunshine State. Many of those people bring their traditions and holidays with them. John Graham is live with some of them at the German American Society of Central Florida, where they're getting ready for Saturday's Oktoberfest. John Kammerer, obviously a German name. Yeah. Help me celebrate. I, well, I have a grandmother named Watt, too, so I got a little German in the blood. And this is this is one of those real Oktoberfests. This isn't like a Rocktoberfest or a Mocktoberfest. And I'm going to, Inga here, prove to him. Say, say hello to everybody. Prove this is a real Oktoberfest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Inga, how, Inga's been up late. You can probably tell that. How you, You've been getting no sleep this week because you're like the head cook and bottle washer here, aren't right. you? Everything. What, 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 like, what's cooking over there? Give people an idea. If they come out here That's to the German American, soupen. it's a what? A goulash soupen. A goulash soupen. soupen Is yeah. that I guess soupen German for soup. 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 But I have the soupen for you. But what's you it? You don't know what soup is. So, uh, what's it? What is? What's in it? That's uh, beef, pork, mm -hmm. uh, uh, potatoes, mm -hmm. and uh, green and red and yellow peppers. Hey, while we're talking about Oktoberfest, what is Oktoberfest? Oktoberfest happened when uh, uh, Prince Ludwig got mm -hmm. married. And but they they started that in September. Everybody says why is uh, October first in, in September? Mm -hmm. But that's how he got married. That's how they did it. There's two weeks in September and two weeks in October. Oh, it overlaps. Yeah, overlaps. What what else is going to be out here? You told me about the the honeymoon was hot. You know. <laughs> She's trouble. <laughs> Remember, this is live TV, Inga. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> now, if people want to come out here, you're going to have lots of food. We got yes. the goulash soup. We're having sauerbraten. We have Jäger schnitzel. We have oh, chickens. We have mm -hmm. Wiener schnitzel. We have uh, uh, sauerbraten. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, German cold platter. You have, have literally more than a ton of food you're preparing yes. here, huh? We have bratwurst, knackwurst, weisswurst, everything. So you have the best worst in town, don't you? The best you? worst comes from New York. <laughs> and the sauerkraut comes from Germany. Oh, so it's got to be good, right? You have to go in the back there and take a look at it. Oh, We'll, we'll be all over now. I've heard now before the end of the show, you're going to teach me a little dancing, right? I, I, I teach you anything. She told me. She, <laughs> wow. Uh, it's the German American Society of Central Florida. She's still laughing. In uh, in Castleberry. Easiest way to do it is to find this place is Saturday. Starts, what, about 3 o'clock starts on Saturday? Yeah, goes till Goes till midnight or till the cops shut them down. Oh. Uh, what's going on? You come to a 436 and almost 1792. There's a McDonald's. You turn back into the neighborhood and follow the traffic, because by 3 o'clock, see, all this good food is going to bring out lots and lots of people. John, I don't know if Ingrid is taken, but she's make a good couple there. You guys make a really cute couple. <laughs> we'll check back in with John Graham in just a few minutes. Hey, when Fox 35 News, this world. John Graham is live in Castleberry, where they're getting ready for Oktoberfest. Hey, John, who's your friend? Hey. Uh, this is Ludwig. Ludwig always wears the hat when he cuts schnitzel. Uh, yeah. the, the, the big Oktoberfest is here in Castleberry. It's the German American Society. So, Doug, uh, I'm hoping the weather's going to be good tomorrow. About 3 till midnight. Yeah, John, I, I'll tell you, weather cannot be bad as far as schnitzel is concerned. <laughs> Temperature should be quite a nice, around 90 degrees around 3 o'clock. Oktoberfest in Castleberry is just a little smaller, but it's still a good time. John Graham is live in Castleberry, where the German American Society is cooking up a storm yeah. for Saturday. He's making all kinds of friends. Let's check in with him. Hey, John. Hey, I'm hanging out. It's me and Krista, and Krista is probably going to be a big part of the next two minutes because she's got a hold of my belt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You, you want to tell people a little bit about your outfit here so they can kind of get an idea of what the flavor of Oktoberfest is? 
flavor of. You don't option. wear this outfit every day, do you? No. No, no. Especially not for cooking schnitzel and wurst and all that. No, no. Mm -hmm. no. But is it a traditional outfit? Yes. Well, so well, tell me about it. What do you What do you got here? I have my blouse mm -hmm. and my apron. And then we have our bloopers. Now be careful. Oh, oh. She, oh, oh. Are we still on TV? Are we still on TV? Here, Ludwig, I'm coming over. Ludwig's safer. I'm going to come over and talk to you for a second. L Ludwig is a busy man here because they're, they're getting ready for Saturday is the big Oktoberfest here in Castleberry at the German American Society of Central Florida. You, you're the, you're both the butcher and the baker, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Butcher, baker, and the candlestick maker. Yeah, the, man. It's a, uh, there, maybe there'll be candles when you come on out. Hang on. Let me, let me find Inga. Inga, where'd you go? Inga, 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 you're on. Come on over here. Inga is really kind of like the, the big boss. Uh, just ask her. She'll tell you. She's the big boss out here. If you want to come out here, it's, it's what, $4 admission tomorrow when people yes, come in? Yes, $4 admission. And, th and that goes to help keep you guys going for the next year, right? Right, exactly. Now That's what, no, they pay the bands. What are oh, you talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah, and there's yeah. two bands, right? Right, that costs a lot of money. Do you remember their names offhand? Oh, yeah, it's uh, Joan and Jesse mm -hmm. and the Bavarians. I shouldn't ask you to pick your favorite, should I? Because they're both your favorites. Joan and yes, Jesse. No, oh, <laughs> the Bavarians are going to come get her. So tell people what what kind of the vibe, the feeling they're going to get if they come out here to Oktoberfest. There's food, there's dancing. I've heard there's a little beer. Uh, a lot of beer. Mm -hmm. A lot of beer. But, it, but families can come. It's not just going to oh, be like yes. drunk people. Oh, yeah. No, we, <laughs> we have hamburgers and frankfurts with the children, mm -hmm. too. And they can always around, you know. Sure, and there's the, there's the chicken dance. Do you do the chicken dance? Chicken dance, yeah. You want to teach me that in the next half hour? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we'll, we'll tell you more about it. If you want to know where it is, you're in the phone book, aren't you, German American Society? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're in the phone book. It's just, it's right, uh, right near 17. 1992 and 436. Just follow the traffic. That would be my suggestion. Because starting about three tomorrow it, until midnight, it starts getting busy. All right, John, be careful. They're probably going to put you to work. All right. Appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. We'll stay at a hospital morning. We're going to go back outside and visit John Graham, who's live in Castleberry. That's where the German American Society of Central Florida is getting ready for its Oktoberfest. That's going on Saturday. Hey, John. Yes. Have you tasted anything? Or, or oh, I guess the yeah, other I, question is, how much have you eaten? They're actually not much. What's funny is, I'm actually, I've actually tasted stuff they're not having for yeah. d during the. They're in there. They're all in there eating Mittwurst and Knockwurst and all this kind of. <laughs> I got a German lesson for you. Okay, I bet you can say this one: Kartoffel Puffer. Kartoffel Puffer. 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 That, that's a German potato pancake. And that's one of the foods they will have out here in Castleberry. And after you do all that eating, you get you get what? Oh, she's talking to somebody else. All right, these two, this is uh, Krista and Inga, and they're going to help me learn one thing you almost have to know when you come out to any Oktoberfest anywhere is the chicken dance. Right? right? Yeah, right. Here, let me get between you. I'll come right in here. All right, and, and ladies, right. they're, they're like, they're like our, uh, they're like our uh, Supremes. They're going to be our backup singers. Okay, how does this go? What do you do? Come over here. Show me, show me, show me. Wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna try now. Okay, one more time. Show me again. I got it. That's for your figure. I, oh, yeah. that's, oh that's, figure, that's like yeah. a, that's like German aerobicizing. Right, exactly. I'm sorry. Move your body. <laughs> Your whole body. Your whole body. Everything. Oh, thank you. Good night, everybody. <laughs> no, th th this is actually where we are. This is the big back room behind the German American Society. And this is where all of the these tables will all be filled up with people oh, yeah. eating and having a good time. Thousand people. Thousand. You got room for a thousand? Yes. Did the police know? Yes. Yep. Okay. And you go from 3 o'clock until midnight on Saturday. But, but so long people there, we play. Mm -hmm. Until mm -hmm. the cops shut you down, right? No, no. They don't shut me down. No. <laughs> They're probably going to be here, too. Some of them. You, you got German American police officers. Oh, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We have Castleberry. Oh, yes, yes. Castleberry's Castle, Castle, finest. Castleberry's finest will be here. So, all right, we're going to turn it over to you guys for a little bit. I'll see if I can get like a little dance circle going for the end of the show. Remember, if you want to come out, it's uh, 3, 3 o'clock until midnight? Yes. 3 o'clock until midnight early on Saturday. Possible because it's going to be tough parking. What she said. Come, come early if possible. <laughs> and it's right near uh, 436 and uh, Bratwurst. No, right near 436 <laughs> at 1792. <laughs> Just look for the McDonald's and then follow the traffic. This section is Heimer Specialties. Oh, I'm, okay, guys, you better go before they start saying yeah, other stuff. John, I think these two ladies have a crush on you, too. Yeah. I think they're kind of sweet on you. Okay, hey, still ahead on Fox 35 News very much. Hey, coming up next on Fox 35 News at 8, we're going to pay another visit to John Graham, who's at the October Vest preview. Yeah, hey, Michael, now I told you just a few minutes ago, about six, seven minutes ago, German potato pancakes. How do you translate that into German? Do you remember? Pop quiz. Kapolapufer. 
or something like that. Close enough. Kartoffel Poofer. Oh, right there. There you go. Poofer. So we're, we're going to get a little German dancing going here for the uh, coming up uh, for the Oktoberfest here in uh, Castleberry. You're watching Fox 35 News at 8. Be some heavy. As long as we stay away Saturday night because we've got the big Oktoberfest going on. Yes, we do. I thought Let's you were going to say another nap for chicken you. Chicken with John. I'm old. I'll take a nap then, too. Hey, John. Hey, I got to do that reporter thing where you put your finger in your ear. Is it? <laughs> Because they're, they're singing songs. The prep, this is just the preps for the Oktoberfest 2002, which gets started tomorrow here in Castleberry at the German American Society of Central Florida. Wait, this is a good part. Listen to this. Chicka 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 chicka, hi hi hi. Chicka 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 chicka, hi hi hi. Chicka 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 chicka, hi hi hi. Down the hatch. There you go. It is a family event, but they did want to make sure. They said we got to get the beer on John once. So there you go. John. There is beer available, but there's lots and lots of food. There's music. <laughs> it is not just an adult thing. You can bring the kids out. Can yes. you hear me, John? It's, yes. It's, if I was to come out there, could I party with those ladies? These two, these two ladies will be here, and the, Doug, our weatherman, our meteorologist, wants to know if he can come party with you too. Oh yes, oh, definitely. Oh, Come on out, Doc. I thought they were. I thought you stole them away from me, Doug. And you're a nice young guy too, Doc. I see you. They were sweet on John, but now they've been captured by Doug's beauty. We can anyway, go together, I bet John. Those two could put you under the table. You oh know, my God! Yeah, yeah, not to off. it right there. Yeah. There goes Doug. Uh, <laughs> and there's Ingrid still standing yeah. up, chinka, 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 whatever she was doing. There. Folks, go out and have a great <laughs> weekend. We're going to be back uh, Monday morning, 6 a.m. sharp. If you're headed outside, Goodbye, be very, very careful. Look, Goodbye. there he is again.